Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm going to be doing my 2020 sneaker collection video. So I gotta play smart. I've been getting dope teams every time my phone rings. It's your so this is just behind the scenes. I took one shoe out of each box just to make this a little bit easier on myself. And I'm organizing the shoes by numbers, the retro number, and just organizing by brand. So it's taking me a minute, not gonna lie. So I got shoes here, shoes there. Basically the whole room is just covering the shoes. It's hard to navigate around, so y'all better like this video up. Go ahead, share it. Go ahead, comment how many shoes you think is in my collection. Cause this is stuff that's not in the camera right now. So go ahead, comment a number. It's been almost three years since I last did a sneaker collection video, so this is definitely the update that you all deserve. We're finally at 5.08k subscribers. So this is going to be the first video of the year. Let's go ahead and start this off right. So I'm going to start off with all my Adidas sneakers first. I'm just going to be doing it by brand. I got the Adidas NMD OGs. It's got the blue red pods and the boost. I'm going to try not to spend too much time on this because I got a lot of shoes to go through. Then the next thing I have is the Adidas Ultra Boost Continental. These are the 3.0s. They have the Continental uh, track, the tire material. So these shoes are very durable. I work out in these shoes and I wear them casually as well. Great shoe to have in the collection. The next shoe right here is a classic. Can't go wrong with this. The Adidas Superstar, aka the Shell Toes, aka the B-Boy shoes. Basically like the shoes that all the break dancers back in the 80s used to wear. Run DMC made this even more popular. So that's another cool thing. Then the last pair of Adidas shoes I have that are on me right now are the Adidas Yeezy 350 V2 Zebra. I got this on from Yeezy Supply like last, no it, the end of 2018. Yeah, got this in 2018, like December. So I had these shoes for a while. It's a great shoe. I was able to get it for retail. The only thing that sucked though, since I got it from Yeezy Supply, Kanye West, personal website, the shipping was twenty dollars, and it took like a whole week for it to get here. So I ordered it like at the end of the year. Kind of that was the one complaint I had about it. So next thing I wanted to go over is all the Vans in my collection, and I only have three pairs of Vans, or no four. I got these Vans that I got back in uh, high school, back in tenth grade. These Vans Authentic Era. Sneakers just splatter, just paint splatter everywhere. It's pretty cool. And then I got these Star Wars vans. I I really like these vans because of the box. I like Star Wars. I play all the video games. I watch the movies. I don't know. I haven't seen a new Star Wars movie yet, so don't leave no spoilers. Well, actually, by the time you guys watch this video, I have already seen the movie, so it don't even matter. So yeah, it has basically like the uh, Darth Vader's face. And then like the stormtroopers with like a Jolly a Jolly Roger type uh, pirate flag thing going on. It's pretty cool. And then another cool little feature that you guys probably might have not have noticed because I didn't point it out. It has uh, the lightsaber handle as the aglets, which is pretty cool. Another cool little detail to shoot. And it it had like uh, it has like this little Star Wars tag that it came with as well. I got these shoes back in like I want to say 2016 back when I was a senior in high school so these shoes are very old and then I have like these Vans uh, checkerboard you probably saw them in a the little preview when I was just running through all the shoes and those are like at my other place so I'm just gonna go on and move on to the next part. All right, I had to take off my jacket I was getting way too hot anywho next pair of shoes are these leather high top Converse Chuck Taylor All Stars cool thing about Chuck Taylor boxes they have like little sole on the bottom of the shoe box pretty cool at least for the newer versions of the shoe anyway. Yeah. The next shoe I got, these Puma Suede's right here. Classic shoe right here. I can't believe people actually play basketball in these. I guess because the hardwood, the bottoms right here, but they're low tops. I wouldn't ball in low tops. I ain't trying to mess with my ankles. I like my ankles way too much. But I wear those casually. And then right here, oh yeah. If, you, if you're from the DMV or Philly, you already know what this is. The New Balance 990 V4. The V5 already came out, but I'm kind of waiting for uh, more colors to drop. Because I want to get like the V5 in some random color. I don't know, like mustard yellow or green or something. Just something off the wall. 
So now I'm about to go through all my Nikes in my collection. So check this out. I got these Nike Air Force Ones. There are these beat up Air Force Ones that I painted gold and white. So if you guys have been an OG subscriber, when I hit a thousand subscribers back in 2016, when I was about to graduate from high school, I went ahead and customized these shoes. I put wax laces on them and I put gold aglets. As you can see, pretty cool. The paint started cracking because I don't really wear these. This is really just like a, a just something to decorate the room type thing. And then the next thing I got are these undefeated Air Max 97s. Awesome shoe. Basically reminds me of Gucci because of the green and red. Pretty awesome. I remember it, it comes with like an extra set of laces, but I never actually swapped them out, ironically. It's like, they're, they're kind of like Timberland laces, like the little rope laces, but they're, uh, color right there. They're black and red. So, that's just something I don't really, I don't wear these shoes too much because I should have got, I didn't know these shoes were going to run small, so I got a size 10. I should have got a size 10 now because my foot grew a little bit over the, over the past few years, so I'm going to have to sell the shoes at some point. And then I got these shoes right here. These shoes, even though they're old, the Nike Liverpools, I got this in a giveaway on Instagram, Jumpman Boxer, aka Basement of the Jays. I entered this competition because I posted a picture of you in your favorite shoes and he randomly selected somebody and then I won the shoes. So basically LeBron owns part of the soccer team Liverpool. So that's what this colorway is inspired by. And I only have two pairs of LeBrons. And they're both LeBron 9 Lows. The other one is Honorage. But those shoes, <laughs> I play basketball in them, so they're so beat, I don't even think it's worth showing in the video. And then the next shoe I have right here is the Travis Scott Air Force One, the very first Air Force One that released for Travis Scott. The thing that's cool about them is you can take the swoosh off, it's pretty cool, and it has gum, a gum bottom, gum sole, and it has like these little grills for the lace lock, which I really like. And then the Nike Air on the back is upside down as well as on the tongue. On the tongue is also upside down. The Nike Air is off-white, so it probably won't show too well. And then the other cool thing about these shoes is that they have different swooshes that you can swap out. It has like this little cheetah print lava swoosh, and then it has this just metallic swoosh. So I really like these shoes. These shoes are really different, and I have it upside down on the other shoe just because I was being funny. I wore, that was, this was the last shoe I wore for 2019, actually. I wore it for, uh, now, I've, I've damaged a mess out of this box too. It's like I never can put the shoe in the box perfectly without damaging it a little bit. But it's whatever. I'm not really sure too much. It's just a box. And then another cool shoe that I have. This is actually my only pair of Nike SBs. I used to have more, but I kind of sold them where I outgrew them. This is a Nike SB Concepts. I actually changed the laces. The laces. Oh, no, I didn't change the laces. I just put uh, gold aglet covers on them, which is pretty cool. Basically, this is called the Nike SB Concept Stained Glass. Like, if you go to a Catholic church or any old school church to have stained glass windows, and this is what it's inspired by. The only way you could get this special edition box if you got it from the Concept Store in New York. Fortunately for me, someone was selling this on eBay. Like, they were cleaning out their collection. So, back in 2017, I went ahead and bought them, and I just went ahead and secured it. And then they come with two, sets of lace, two extra sets of laces, red and white. So definitely glad I got the shoes. I got this for eighty dollars. Retail is one fifty. Resell is like three hundred. It's not even like three hundred. It's like two hundred fifty ish for a brand new. And I got these pre-owned. They only worn a few times, so definitely a great cop on my end. And then I got these these foam posits, the holograms or the oil spill, as some people call them. It's pretty cool. When you move it, it changes colors. It has that little rainbow effect in the water. I like it a lot. It has silver aglets. Another cool touch, the Penny Hardaway logo, the Half Cent logo, and then it's also like, it's not a holograph on the tongue, but it has like this little gold Penny Hardaway logo right there, which is pretty cool. So, let's see, next shoe, next shoe, next shoe I got right here, I'm gonna just knock these two out together. I got these Roshi Runs, I used to have like, there was a point I had two pairs of Roshi Runs, but I sold, I, no, I didn't sell, I gave it away. I had a blue pair of Roshi Runs that I got as a birthday gift, but I wore them. My friend needed a pair of shoes for work, so I gave it to him. I kept these though. I got these for like 40 bucks out of Shoe City. Yeah, I got it for like less than retail. It was on clearance, so I just went and copped it because I like the floor print. This is like my summer shoe slash spring shoe. I just wear it when I'm not doing anything. Super light, comfortable shoe. 
When Roshi Runs first came out, they were $75. Now, they got like the Nike Roshi 2 and some other versions. So, they've definitely done a lot. And then I got the Sean Wilderspoons right here. A lot of you may have seen this in the Real vs. Fake comparison video. That's what most people subscribe to my channel for. Because I started doing Real vs. Fake. So it's pretty cool. You can take the, the little patch off. Which I like a lot. I put one patch, the Nike patch on this one, and then I put the little Tsunami patch on the other shoe. Just to have options, you know. Let me go to my off-white sneakers, the off-white box. This is the Nike Vapor Max. This is the 2.0, which was the second set of colors. They had a, the very first one was just like black with the white swoosh, but the second version of it had the clear swoosh. Nike bottoms. I've worn these a lot. I played soccer in these actually. I was like, man, I'm gonna wear these shoes. It's whatever. I took this on vacation. I wore them. Played soccer in it. Some people were like, why are you doing that? Don't do that. I'm just like, it's not that deep. They're just a pair of shoes. Certain shoes, like I'm not gonna mess them up, but certain shoes, if they're a, a lifestyle shoe, like not a lifestyle, if they're a sport made for sports. I'm gonna play in them. So, and this is probably my favorite off white shoes that I own right now. If I had the off-white ones, the UNCs, then that would be my favorite. But this is this is the one I own. This is pretty cool too. It's the San Or Air Max 90s with the little what color is this again? It is mango. Hyper J Bright Mango. I like that mango colorway. It came with the same laces to match the swoosh, but I've never swapped them out yet. I probably will at some point. But just not now. And yeah, I like these shoes a lot. These are also very comfortable. So I'm like I don't want to say halfway, but I think we're at a good middle point of my collection. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut th straight through the uh, designer part of my collection. Got these Gucci slides, 220 plus tax, so like 230. You know, they come with all this space. So if you, if you want to really see the review, just watch it on my YouTube channel. I'm not about to do a full review. And then I got these Gucci sneakers right here. Boom. The Gucci glitter stud sneakers. Now these are super fancy. They sparkle. They're awesome. They have a tiger, a little 3D tiger on the tongue. I really like them a lot. These are definitely my favorite Gucci sneakers of all time. Because Gucci has made a lot of ugly sneakers, and I definitely will not cap like they've made. Like, all their shoes look good. Because some of the shoes are literally butt ugly. Would never wear it. Like, those little boot things with the straps, I would never wear those. And then I got these Chanel low top trainers. Pretty cool. CC up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The quality on this is amazing. Then it has like the quilted like patty on the insole. And then let's go on to the next shoe. And right here is the red bottoms. I should have got these in a bigger size because uh, I feel like designer shoes, they're either cut really big or cut really small. And like the ankle area is really wide around my foot, but the toe box was way too tight. And I believe this is a size 44. I should have got like a size 45 in these because they're like kind of tight on my feet. So I'm probably going to end up selling those at some point. But that's for another day. If anything interests you on my uh, collection and you want to buy it and you throw a good price, just DM me. My Instagram name should be up here or over there or somewhere on the screen at the bottom or at the top. You'll see it. And then I got these right here. Definitely my favorite uh, designer shoes in my collection. The Versace Chain Reaction sneakers. Really cool. It makes you like 3 inches taller. You know, I'm 5'8", so... Being 5'11", you know, like, that's, that's tough. You know, I, I kind of, shout out to Illuminati. I need, uh, I need those three inches of height. You know, I'll be, feel, be feeling like a new man, brand new person. So yeah, I like those. Oh yeah, and then the bottom of the shoe, you know, is shaped like a chain. That's why it's called Chain Reaction. So definitely, definitely my favorite designer. All right, now I'm about to go on to the Jordan part of the collection. You feel me? This is where, this is where a lot of people probably clicking in for. Some people don't care about the designer stuff, but this is what really started off for me anyway. Jordans, like my first pair of retros was the military blues fours. I don't know. Will this will this be the thumbnail? Uh might be a thumbnail, I don't know. It might not be the thumbnail. But I definitely got a lot of stacks of shoes in front of me. Whoa, I'm not even gonna edit that out. Y'all just gonna have to see it and laugh at that for later. Alright, whoo, I'm out here breaking the sweat. There's so many shoes around me. I'm gonna probably show the behind the scenes. So when I show that, y'all be like, yeah, that's a lot of shoes. Alright, so this is like my only non-retro pair of Jordans, the Air Jordan Features. It takes the silhouette of the 11, and then it has like this little woven material. It's reflective, so if you put a flashlight on it, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna have like that little 
3M, which is pretty cool. You know, I don't know if it's gonna show right now. Probably gotta turn off the light for this to really work. But yeah. But it's, it's has the reflective material. If, if you take a picture of it with flash, then you'll probably see what I'm talking about. Let me make sure, let me see if I can do this. My phone is kind of acting kind of dumb right now. Got to get the upgrade soon. Let's see, flash. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of it. And you guys, tell me what you see. Okay. So if I put it on flash, you know, that's what it'll look like if it'll focus on the camera. Is the Air Jordan 1 Cyber Mondays, black leather, white bottoms, very simple. I switched out the laces for wax laces with gold aglets just to make them look a little more fancy, a little more luxurious, you know what I'm saying, not too crazy. Then, next pair of Jordan 1s, Air Jordan 1 Royal. This is my favorite pair of Jordan 1s, definitely my top five sneakers in my collection, all in all. Also, gave it the gold aglet treatment. This shoe is very special to me, I like that one a lot. I bought two pairs when they came out and I sold one pair just to cover for the cost of both so I basically didn't spend any money out there. And then the next shoe right here, this is the Crimson Tint, aka the pink, the black and pink ones. We really like this, it's like a really pale pink, it looks really good, very different. Next pair of ones, this is the Goto, what is the Goto ones? Yeah, this is the, the go to ones. It's not like the top three gold ones that came out for Complex exclusively. These ones, they're, they both have the same pattern on both shoes. As you can see, it's black and gold on one side and then it's white, black and gold on the other side. Pretty cool. I really like these shoes. This was the first pair of Jordan ones I had that was patent leather all around. So, it's very fancy. And I was, it's different. Some people didn't like it because of the patent leather, but I thought it was, it was a good uh, thing to do. Because... If all sh your shoes are the same type of material that it gets boring, it's like, why am I even buying it anymore? It's another pair of ones that's different. This is the Origin ones. These came out when, these came out at the end of 2018 when the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movie came out with Miles Morales, the first black Spider-Man. So this is pretty cool. It has the icy blue bottoms. I really like these a lot. And it has, it's supposed to be like the Chicago ones, but it's just tweaked because in the movie, Ma Miles, he wears the Chicago ones. So they just tweaked it. Gave it the blue tongue with the red swoosh. So, you know. And then they got like the little maroon lace. The maroon aglets. So, yeah. Alright. So, next shoes I want to show. The Air Jordan 2 Radio Raheems. This is an underrated shoe. Like, I don't really like a lot of Air Jordan 2s. I like the metallic chrome ones. But, you know, those are kind of hard to find in good condition. When I got these, I got this for like 130, and when they retail, they were 190. This came out during the remastered area, the remastered era. So mad annoying having to pay that price for 194 pair of twos. But you know, the Air Jordan Three, the Black Cements, got these in 2018. Awesome shoe to have in my collection. The elephant print, the red tongue, the white Nike Air on the back. Everything about the shoe just classic, classic, classic. Still smells good. I kept these in really great condition, by the way. I wear them a lot, surprisingly, but you know, it's super easy to clean unless you're just running around doing some wild stuff, which I don't do, so, yeah. Then, next shoe. Believe it or not, this is my first pair of uh, Air Jordan Retros, the very first one I had. They got stolen. It's a long story. It's going to be for another day, but I ended up buying another pair, and this is the 2012 pair. The one thing I hate about the very old pairs is that they yellow so much on the mental. Like, look at this. You see how yellow that is? It like yellow so much and it's so annoying. I've done undelling videos on them many times. But because they're old, they're gonna always yellow up. You gotta put silica gel in the box and haven't put silica gel in the box in a minute, so they ended up yellowing. And if you guys were like subscribed to my channel in 2016, then you know I had the ones the 2012 pair, the one with the jump in on the back. And I ended up selling them so I could buy these when they came out like last year. In 2019. I was very excited for this, got the Nike Air. This is my first pair of fours that had the Nike Air on the back, so I was very excited. I wasn't able to get the white cements. I'm going to get them eventually. It's one of those shoes where, like, I, I can't get it today, but when I do get them, I'm going to be the freshest person with them on, and that's facts. 
And then my next pair of shoes right here, Air Jordan 5, the metallic, the black metallic. I like these, got the silver little flames or shark teeth as some people call them with the black speckling, the lace lock, the 3M on the tongue, gotta love it. Uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, a.k.a. Will Smith, he wore this in the TV show. So, I'm definitely a big fan of fives. Alright, next shoes are the sixes. These are the infrared sixes. They have some infrared sixes that came out back in like 2014 or like some point. But they, were, they weren't even like infrared. They look pink. I didn't like them. I'm glad they retro these again and made it like closer to the OG color. So, definitely like that a lot better. And then they even put the Nike Air on the back. All black. Pretty cool. So, you know. Definitely was excited when these retro it again in the cooler looking OG color. And these right here, collect this item, the Gatorade Sixes. They have the one that were white and orange, but I personally like these better. They come with the Gatorade towel. And then right here, they they have like the little Gatorade bottle lace lock, which I think is pretty cool. And then it says if I could be, I think it says if I could be like Mike. Yeah, if I could be, and then like Mike is somewhere on some part of the shoe, like inside or something like that. But yeah, these shoes I like a lot because they're different, they're green. You know, it's not every day you see someone with a green pair of shoes, so definitely, definitely, definitely something. The box, Mike. Like, I have a lot of orange boxes, I have Nike boxes, but this is like pretty cool. as a Gatorade symbol, the little orange lightning ball, pretty cool. The next shoe in my collection, the Air Jordan 7 sweater. This came out in 2015, back when Jordan was doing that whole remaster thing. We all remember that fiasco. They made some shoes really high quality, and then they kind of did that for like six months, and then they stopped. And this one, they raised the price from 160, or is it 170? It went. The shoes went from 160, 170 to 190. It just jumped like crazy. So basically, 190 plus tax, Jordans were 200 dollars at that point. So everybody was mad, and. That's when inflation started kicking in. Jordan just started raising up the price. Everybody was salty. These also came out in 2015 Black Friday. The Aqua 8s. These are my favorite pair of 8s. I only like two pairs of 8s. I like these and the uh, Dornbacker 8s. The little blue. It's all crazy colors. Yeah, these are the only, those are the only 8s I like. So these are pretty cool. I like them because of the blue and purple. And I, I love the tongue on the 8s. Even though I don't like the model itself. This color and the tongue, it has like this little carpet feel on it and I really like it. And then the sole, it's like very vibrant. It's very it's very 90s. That's when these shoes came out in the 90s. So the color makes a lot of sense. Okay, so that's the... I don't have any 9s and I definitely don't have any 10s. Let's go ahead and skip straight to the 11s. And I just dropped something, but that's off camera. So just go ahead and disregard that. The Air Jordan 11 Space Jams has the 45 in the back. I don't have any levels with the 23 on the back because I got these in 2016. The box, we really like the box. Hey, look at this. The box, it has this Galaxy print on it, which I really like. Awesome. Makes the shoe pop way more, if you ask me. And then, oh yeah, I forgot. Like, they actually did the fancy box for the 26. That was like the last pair of Jordan 11s, but they actually did a cool box with the cool presentation. That was the 23 with, uh, Bugs Bunny and the Monstars fighting. It's pretty cool. And you got the little Looney Tunes thing on the back. Awesome little detail. See, I don't mind paying two, over $200 for a pair of shoes. The box and the presentation is, is really well done. You know what I'm saying? And then, going again with the two 2011s. These are the Air Jordan 11 Concord. These came out in 2018, December. Only won these like three times because, you know, they're special. Can't just be throwing them on for any time. These got the 45 on it. And yeah, they did like the little OG Air Jordan 11 box. So, no special presentation. So, you're paying 220, you don't get that cool presentation for the box. Kind of disappointing, but you know, it's it's whatever, you know. I, I'm not finna cry over it. I still like the shoes. So, it's whatever. And this right here, this is the International Flight 12s. You can tell it has like the little cloud design spirals all over the shoe and then it has it on the ins like the sock liner part of it pretty cool you got the red on the bottom and it has like this little python snakeskin type material it's, it's like scales looks really cool i guess i have to bring it up close so you can see it you can see the little scale material i really like it i don't wear these too much only because 12s are heavy so you know 
you only see a few pictures of me wearing 12s. And then I got these right here, the Chinese New Year 12s. I'm gonna take them out the box real quick. The thing I like about these shoes, these are the only shoes I have that are that have satin material on it. Believe it or not, I wasn't able to get any of the satin one, Jordan ones, so those are super limited, super expensive. And I'm about to drop a band and a half on a pair of shoes that are just Jordan ones. Even though I like satin, they're not gonna get me. This it has like the print on the sock liner, which is really nice. The gold eyelids at the top, the gold design right here it says Jumpman. I really like this design. This is fancy. Chinese New Year even got the little special box. So definitely was not mad at these shoes. Definitely a nice little shoe to have. And then my last pair of Jordans that I have on me right now are the Air Jordan 13 Bread, Black and Red. This part is 3M. I think there was a version of the breads that came out that didn't have the 3M on it. It was really weird. And then has the little hologram thing right here. It's supposed to be like a panther's eye. And then the bottom of the shoes, they look like panther paws. Like look up a panther paw and then look at the Jordan 13 soles. That's what they're designed after. Because they called Michael Jordan the black cat when he was balling. So it was a nickname. I just went ahead and did that. Just a little basketball history for you guys. And then my very, very most expensive shoes in my collection some people already seen this if you follow me on twitter or instagram you already know what this is basically these are customs right got this in sprite they sent me this sprite glass box for my shoes i got these customized by this girl named miranda and she just she customized these shoes for me they wear a white pair of vans they say ozzy has sprite on the toe box then it has like that transition from blue to green and then it has like the lemon on the back, which I really like. And of course, you know, Sprite, they saw the shoes, they sent me like a box. I was like, oh yeah, this is nice. And then uh, the other Sprite customs I have are the Sprite Air Force Ones. If you've been following me for a while, then you remember when I dropped this video on them. So this shoe is my favorite of the Sprite customs. Just because it's high time and I wear high tops more often. So they have the Sprite logo right here. Then on the side, they have the nutritional facts that you see on the can or the bottle, which is really cool. And then Sprite, they sent me uh, Sprite shoelaces. The person I customized didn't actually do this. Oh, by the way, his name is Bertheo Customs. I don't know if he's still doing customs, but if you watch, if you look up the video on my channel, his link to his Instagram is in all that. So, yeah. The bottles aren't white anymore because I've worn them. But yeah, I really like these shoes. These are priceless because they're one of one You'll never see anybody on YouTube with these shoes. So these shoes are priceless. Literally can't put a price on them because they're one on one. So yeah. And that concludes my sneak collection video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead, press the like button. Go ahead, comment what your favorite shoe in my collection was. What shoes do you have? What's your favorite shoe? That's going to be the question today. What's your favorite pair of shoes that you own right now? And then go ahead, share this video with all your friends. We're at 5.08K. We're going to be at 10K soon. So that's the goal for this year. Hit 10K subscribers. And we're just going to keep moving. Try to get to 100k, get that 100k plaque. It's gonna happen. I, I know it's gonna happen. It's one day, it's on the way. You're gonna have to keep grinding, dropping more content. I don't really do a lot of clickbait, so that's why my channel don't be growing like that. I don't like doing clickbait. I'm just grind it out. If I end up doing clickbait at some point, then I guess it is what it is. But for now, we're just grinding, uploading a lot of content. So hope you guys like this video. Uh, give it a big thumbs up. Share with your friends. Comment what your favorite shoe was, or what's your favorite shoe in your own collection. And that's all I have for today, and I'm out. Peace. I play where I'm from, and it reminds me where I was. Thank God for this pedal. Shout out Bryce Fetter. Got me me a diamond through this gorgeous press. Learn the hardest lessons, but then y'all bless. I do not regret it, it made me fall better. When it come to my way, I can't tell you my secrets. Wanna do it my way, then just study my name.